welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i install this beautiful 22 inch curly wig that i got from hair spells it came in this cute little pouch right here this is their 13 by 4 deep curly brazilian unit in 22 inches you guys and the curls on this unit is like everything like this unit is super gorgeous you guys and this unit is under 200 us so you can't go wrong with that i'll leave all the information in my description bar down below so you can check this hair out if you're interested in purchasing it i went ahead today to do a minimalistic baby hair look so i just did a simple baby hair effect as you guys could see nothing too dramatic so it was a quick and easy install the glue that i also used was kiss almighty bond glue so this is my first time using this glue i've heard a lot of great reviews on this glue it says it's waterproof so i'm definitely going to be testing it out so i did install the hair today using this glue so if you are interested to see how i installed and finessed this deep curly unit that i got from hair spells well keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet give this video a big thumbs up and to comment down in the comment section board on blue so with no further ado let's jump right into this install so the wig that i'm going to be installing and reviewing today is in collaboration with hair spells 100 percent virgin human hair so the wig came in this cute little mauve pouch they sent me over their brazilian deep curly wig in the length 22 inches inside of the bag as well i received their hair care instructions and i also received this cute little girl's fashion hair clip so a bit about the cap construction of this wig this hair came pre-plucked and the parting space is a 13 by 4 lace parting space and it has three combs behind of the lace one on each sides one in the middle and it also has a comb to the back as well along with adjustable straps so you can adjust this wig to your particular liking so i went off camera to dye the hair jet black so let's jump right into the installation process of this wig is their 22 inch curly wig so i went ahead off camera to dye the hair so this is how it looks guys and today i'm going to be using a new glue and this is the kiss almighty bond kit so to and begin this, this install i'm going to be taking this nude stocking cap today to create my ball cap method i'm just firstly cutting out some small holes around my air area before i go in with my kiss almighty glue so i'm just going to be using one layer of the kiss almighty glue and then after i'm just going in with my blow dryer just to blow dry that so now to tint the stocking cap I'm using my Black Radiant Cream Contour Palette in medium to dark just to tint the stocking cap to match my skin complexion and then I'm going over that with my blast free spray to set everything and then I'm going back over with so my blow dryer. So now I'm going in with my shears just to cut off the extra stocking cap to the front portion before I begin the installation process of this wig and then I'm going back in with a little more of the concealer just to blend everything together. So I'm going ahead to try the wig. And it's definitely giving me a vibe because the parting space to the side, there's not really much parting space. So this is how the wig looks i did went ahead to pluck it a bit but nothing much. so before i begin my install i'm just going to be tinting the lace using my black radiance true contour palette in medium to dark and then after i finish doing that i'm just gonna set that with my got to be blast free spray and then go over that with my blow dryer so now i'm just going to position the hair in the direction in which i want it to go and then i'm just going to be focusing on cutting off the extra lace around my air tabs area so after i finish cutting off my air tabs and i have that positioned how i want it i'm just going to cut down the lace into four smaller sections 
before I begin to lay this wig using my Case Almighty glue. So now I'm just using this light concealer just to mark out where I'm going to lay the glue. And today I'm just going to be using two layers of this Kiss Almighty glue today to try it out to see if it actually is sweat and water resistant so i'm just taking the end of my razor comb just to blend out the glue so after i finish blending out the first layer i'm just going in with my blow dryer and when that is dried i am going back over with another layer and then i'm just going to repeat the same process So after the glue is tacky, I'm just going to pull the lace into the glue and then I'm just taking the end of my rat tail comb just to push that in and then I went over with a little bit more of the Kiss Almighty glue by the side just to lay that down and then I'm just going to continue to push the lace into the glue by using my rat tail comb. So after I finish pushing the glue in, I'm just going to be taking my blow dryer and then I'm going over that with my got to be blast free spray and what i like to do after i like to comb out the got to be blast free spray before i go in with my blow dryer so the hair wouldn't be too crunchy when i'm ready to cut so off you the guys, extra once lace. i have everything set i'm just gonna go and tie down my hair for it so i'm just going ahead to tie down my hair a bit with my elastic band for about half an hour and in the meantime while the lace is melting i'm going ahead to start to work on my parting space so i decided to do a middle part today because on the sides of the wig there is not much parting space to work with so i had to go with a middle part so now i'm going in with my wig dealer wax stick before I go in with my ISO hairspray and then I'm going to just flat iron out the top portion of the hair. So after I have the hair down, I'm just gonna work on cutting off the extra lace to the front portion. As you guys can see, like the lace melted perfectly. And for my first time using the Kiss Almighty glue, you guys, this glue was bomb. So I'm just gonna go ahead to cut off the extra lace to the front portion. So I'm just gonna continue to cut off the extra lace to the front using my razor comb. And to clean up any sort of extra lace, I went back in with my shears back and forth. So after the lace is cut off, I'm going in with my black opal foundation in the shade Carob just to perfect the lace a little bit more to my skin complexion. And then I'm going in with my Got To Be Blast Free Spray. So to define the curls on this wig, I went in with some water and then I went over that with my African Pride Sheer Miracle Bouncy Curl Pudding and then I also went over with my Lotta Body Foaming Mousse just to define the curls on this wig. So I'm just going to be working on that just to make sure that the curls are juicy and popping. So now I'm just going to work on finessing my baby hairs, you guys. So I'm just going to part out a minimalistic amount of baby hairs today so after I finish parting out the front portion I'm going in with my ebony brown black opal foundation and I'm just going to use that to perfect the parting space so after I have everything parted the way I want to I'm just gonna work on plucking out some hair to the front portion and then I'm going back over that with my got to be blast free spray just to set everything up bit so i'm just gonna be parting out some hair to the sides as well because today i'm just gonna be doing a minimalistic amount of baby hair so i'm going in with my razor comb just to cut down the hair to my liking before i go in to work on my baby hair So to lay my baby hairs today, I'm going to be using my got to be spiked glued in the black bottle and I'm just going to work on finessing my baby hairs. So I'm just going to be swooping the hair in the direction in which I want it to go until I have everything 
to my liking and my baby hairs are how I actually want them to go so I'm just gonna be working on my baby hairs I'm just gonna be doing a minimalistic amount of baby hairs today nothing too dramatic because I wasn't really in the mood to do any fancy baby hairs so I just did some simple baby hairs on this middle part curly deep wave wig so I'm just taking my got to be blast free spray just to set the top portion before I begin to start to work on the sides so i'm just gonna continue to lay my edges i'm working on my sideburns if they're a bit too long i just go in and clean them up with my shirts and once i have everything perfected to my liking i'm just gonna go over the top portion of my wig with my thermal hot comb just to sleek everything down and i'm just gonna be perfecting the curls on the wig a little bit more so i went in with my shea miracle african pride bouncy curl pudding so i'm just working on perfecting the curls on this wig so once i have them to how i want it i'm going in with my iso plus hairspray just to add a little bit of shine to this wig so what i like to do i like to take some of my vo5 conditioner and i'm just gonna put it to the end of my hair so that it can seal in the curls a little bit more and I'm going in with my powder So to finish contour. up this install, I'm just going in with my Black Radiance True Contour Palette in medium to dark just to perfect the parting area. And that concludes the installation so process. So while that is setting, you guys, I'm going to be right back and show you the end result of this install. Cute, right? So you guys, this is the end result of my install of my 22 inch deep curly brazilian unit that i got from hair spells again it came in this cute little mauve pouch right here so you guys a bit about this wig this wig is their 130 percent density virgin human hair deep curly lace frontal wig and it came in a natural color but you know you know me already you know toya loves black hair jet black hair so this unit is in 22 inches you guys and this unit retails for 184 dollars and this unit is under 200 us like for 22 inches for less than 200 dollars where can you find that and let me tell you guys this hair quality is bomb like bomb like like what lace what lace where yeah where like this wig is you can bomb. choose different sizes when it comes to your cap size and i have a big head so i got this in a medium cap size so again this unit is 130 percent density it's not super thick and neither is it thin this is how long the hair is on me so it's just below my breast area and it's giving like it's definitely giving vacation vibes you know i always say wigs are giving vacation vibes especially if they're curly but you guys like sis you need this wig in your life and for under 200 dollars, the texture is bomb the lace is bomb the curls is bomb the length is bomb so it's definitely gonna be worth your 184 dollars i'll leave all the information for this wig if you are interested in purchasing it and i also have a discount code so you can use my discount code which is roanna to save you some money off of this wig and for 184 dollars plus my discount code sis you can't go wrong so it's definitely a must-have curly wig like you need this wig in your life if you're going on vacation you're going on babecation you're going on best friend vacation vibes and the hair is giving like this curly wig is a must-have curly wig like period so go ahead and check out hair spells for all your quality hair needs they specialize in all kind of hair types for women of color like myself so thank you again for watching this video and see you in my next one and always remember until then to put god first in everything that you do and see you in my next video